Hey, how's it going today? And today we're just going over some important shortcut keys to know if you're going to be working in Unreal. This is going to be the first of many tutorials that we're going to be doing on Unreal. And one of the most important things is being able to navigate around in the main workspace. To start, here we are in Unreal 4.26. And this is just kind of a scene, a little scene I threw together. So we're going to go starting with the uh, mouse. On the mouse, if you left mouse button, you can pan, rotate left and right. So I'm just moving the mouse left to right and I can pan. If you hit left mouse button and the right mouse button together, you can go orthogonally left to right and then up and down as well. And then so if I'm on the left mouse button, I can, if I go up, I can zoom in, move down, pull back. I can zoom in and out really easy up and down by left mouse button only. And then else I go left to right, I can rotate. Can't look up, but I can if I hit both mouse buttons, then I can go up and down and left or right. And if I just hit the right mouse button, then I can orbit, look left or right and orbit in any direction. So those are very important. Also, if you hit the scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out. And if you press the middle mouse button, you can also pan the same as if you hit both left and right mouse buttons. So those are important to practice and getting to know those. The next most important probably are the W, E, R keys. So if I've got this item selected here and we go W, that's going to be my position tool. Where I can move the item up or down around, reposition it on the scene. E is going to let me rotate the item and R is going to let me scale it. But what's easier than that is just to hit the space bar. So you'll notice like right up here, that's the translate or move the object, reposition the object, space bar, rotate and space bar again is scale. So just the space bar really is your fastest way to navigate on that. And that'll save you a lot of time. Now the next one is probably, and this is a very important one, as your scenes get bigger and bigger, it'll be harder to find things and you'll get disoriented sometimes. So let's say I want to find this, click on that tile right there. I can see it over here in the world outliner, but if I click hit F, I can focus in just on that particular item. So there it is. And then let's say I want to go back to the angel. I can click over here, F, and there's the angel. So that's a really important one to know is F which allows you to focus. And as you get more and more items in your scene, you'll also get what they call widgets, these widgets. And if you hit G, you can see them all. And if you hit G again, you can't see them anymore. So G turns your widgets off and on. And then another one that's kind of fun is F11, puts you in full immersion mode. And so you have your, and you can still navigate in your scene as well. And then F11 to come out of full immersion mode. And if you hit play and you're in the scene lying around or whatever you're doing in there, if you hit escape, it brings you out of play. So one of the other things to know is let's say we're in uh, play. Let me go to play. So now the game is active. I'm in the scene itself. For some reason it starts Oculus and I don't know why it does that, but it does that every once in a while. So now I'm in play mode. And let's say I've got a big scene and I want to fly around. Well, you've got six buttons uh, you can hit. You have your W, A, S, D, Q, and E. So if you hold either mouse button down, W moves you forward, S moves you back, E moves you up, and then Q moves you down. So you just have to have either mouse button. So that's Q, that's E, that's W, that's S, and that's A and D. So as these scenes get big, as these scenes get bigger and bigger, you'll want to fly through your scenes. So I can fly back pretty far here. <laughs> this is one of the things that blows my mind about Unreal. I did a video about the scale of a 3D scene. And what's amazing about Unreal is that it's really a larger than life scene that you have. It's like as large as a real life scene. So that, let's say I want to get over there fast. I put the left mouse button down and I can fly over there pretty quick. Hurry up, get here. <laughs> So it's just a really cool way to move around in your scene. That's pretty much it. So I would, you know, if you can memorize those ways of navigating and get comfortable navigating, you'll go a long way toward getting comfortable and proficient with using Unreal. So that's all I had for today. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.